All right, it's uh, Tuesday, September, I think it's the 11th maybe, 11th, 12th, something like that. Uh, we got a big hurricane coming, and it, it's, it's, it's got a fucking hard on right for my eyes. Uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, North, yeah, I'm about four hours in from the coast. Uh, four hours driving, right? So two, two or three hundred miles, something like that. Normally when these hurricanes come, there's, you know, there's half a dozen a year, they'll hit the coast and scoot up the coast and things like that. They never, they don't really come inland. Uh, this one's coming in. Uh, it, you know, it's supposed to hit the coast on Thursday. It's supposed to be here Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we we're probably gonna lose power and trees and who knows, who hell knows what. Um, so this video, I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to make a, uh, well, two things. I have a, a well water for my home. I don't have a supply of water. And it runs off 240 volts. Um, and I guess you need to know a little bit about how well pumps work, but it, there's a expansion tank, um, and then there's a pressure switch, uh, and it's all, it all runs off 240 volts, right? Um, so if you were to go to the pump and just give the pump 240 volts, and yeah, you know, the pump wouldn't know when to turn off. So it would just keep pumping water into your home until all the pipes burst, or a couple of pipes burst, and then you flood your high side you know, from your own water supply. So that's not a good idea. Don't fucking do that. Don't be stupid. What you need to do is supply uh, 240 volts before the pressure switch, or, or directly to the pressure switch, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and again, don't be stupid. Don't be. Don't be tacking wires on top of house wires and things like that because if if your power goes out and then you put 240 volts to your pressure switch and you don't disconnect it from the house uh, a couple of things you if the power comes back on that's you're not pumping you know 480 volts into a 240 volt motor you're gonna blow it up uh, you're gonna blow up your generator and then the worst fucking thing is if you have you, you can backfeed electricity, right? And you, again, you got to know a little bit about electricity. But if I if I'm pumping 240 volts into that pressure switch and it's still hooked to my house, and and let's say there's somebody's working on a transformer, you know, down you know, 20 miles away or whatever, and I'm firing that voltage in there and it's going back to my fuse box, you can backfeed, you know, to the under the, to the main power supply, and that poor bastard that's trying to fix electricity in the area, you'll fry him. Uh, and you'll go to jail. It, it's a pretty big deal. They'll, it, it, they're trained to listen for generators running and things like that, um, you know, before they start working on uh, on circuits or you know areas that have had, had issues or whatever, you know, hurricanes that kind of stuff. But you know, you can't always hear them, um, especially like the generator I have. It's running, and I'm, you can have a conversation right beside it. So the tech, the quiet technology in generators make it real hard for uh, linesmen to. Uh, to, you know to hear if somebody's running the generator so whatever you do don't be fucking stupid and backfeed electricity into your home and then you kill someone uh i, I think it's like 20 years in prison or something they, they really they really fried up on that so i'll show you what i did uh and i'm not going to show you the pressure switch because it's under my house i'm gonna get in there and deal with that but google pressure switch you'll see it there, there's basically there's four wires on the pressure switch two are coming two hot wires each 120 volts are coming from your house and then it's going into that pressure switch and then another two are coming out of the pressure switch and they're going to your pump and they're feeding that same 240 volts to the pump and the pressure switch basically says I need water send power and then when it hits a certain pressure you know 60 normally 60 65 psi it says nah, I don't need power anymore shut it off so the pressure switch controls like when the water comes it comes on and off and on and off and on and off you know, without it, like I said, you just the pump wouldn't know what to do, and you just fill your house, and you blow the freaking water lines out of your house. So what I did, which is somewhat sketchy, but not really, if you know what you're doing, you gotta know what you're doing. Um, I may or may not put this video online. I don't know. We'll think about. It. I'll think about it. Um, so this is my uh, Honda uh, EU 7000. It's a uh, I think it's a 5,000 watt generator. So what I did, so here's your uh, 240 volt generator plug, all right? I have an adapter. So I went to, uh, 
I went to Home Depot and got a 240 uh, three prong, I think uh, an NM6 or something, whatever that is. Whatever that, that connection is, it's a 240 volt. And then on the other end of it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my pressure switch and I'm gonna remove the wires from the home and I'm gonna replace them with these. So these just slot in and then there's a cap and a screw and you just screw this down. Uh, and these normally go on the outside, but you know, you gotta know your pressure switch. I, I, you can also see the wires coming from the pump versus the wires from the house, but still, electricity's fucking dangerous shit. Don't, don't be stupid. If you don't know what you're doing, just don't do it. Yeah, it's simple as that. Um, but I'll, I'll show you how this works. Um, so we're gonna put our meter back on here. So both of these are live, like 120, 120. We're gonna plug in our uh, 240 volt circuit. We're gonna plug this guy in. This is hard one handed. There we go. Okay, so you can see we're connected here. Here, we're into our circuit. Zero volts, right? Let me flip the breaker. So this, this would be my setup, only it'd be going into my well pump. We're gonna flip our breaker. And we now have 252 volts. So, you know, that's, that's now putting out, you know, 200, it's, they call it 240 volts, it's about 250, is what my generator puts out. So, if we do lose power, we have no water. So no showers, toilets, I mean, you name it, drinking water, whatever. Uh, so for me, I kind of have to do something. I can't, you know, you imagine a week without power, four people, two dogs. They don't shit in the toilet, but <laughs> you, you know, you get that picture, right? It, it could get pretty dicey. <laughs> uh, you know, if it gets real bad, I, I can just, we can move into the RV if the RV survives. You know, we, I don't even know. So... Yeah, like, like I said, we're going to remove the, the power from the house, replace it with the generator, give it 240 volts, and then we can use the water and shower and all that. Oh yeah, wash your machine, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, you don't have that problem if you have city water, um, but a lot of people have wells and you know, they don't know what to do. So I figured I'd make a quick video on, on what to do. Uh, I got 15 foot of cable because that's all I need to get to mine. Uh, mine's about three feet in from the, the crawl space door. Uh, so that gives me about the generator about 10 feet away from the house, which is totally fine. Um, if you had a super noisy generator or like none, that, that generator is $4,000. You can get a generator that puts out the same, if not more, uh, amps and, and both air, well, amps really, um, for, for $800. But the damn thing will keep you awake. Uh, you, you, could, you can sleep beside that thing. And it, you know, it's so quiet. Uh, so, you know, I chose to go an expensive ride because for the RV, right? If we're, we're using the RV, you, know, you don't want something that's, one, going to piss off the people, anybody near you, and two, you won't be able to sleep if you're, if you're somewhere and you, ha you have to run your generator. Uh, so it's the same generator for the RV I'm just going to use for the house. Uh, and I have, a, I have another generator as well that, whatever. Ah, I'm going to get into that, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's, that's how you uh, wire that up. Um, you can, you can do it a couple of different ways. You could go get the actual generator plug and just plug right in and, and wire that up and give it the 240. Uh, I already had an adapter to that, that three-prong three plug, you know, the earths on the top and then the two hots on the side. And one is horizontal and one's vertical. Uh, so for me, it was cheaper to get a, that plug adapter. I think it was $11. And then I got 15 foot of um, uh, cable. Uh, it's outdoor cable, so you know, Definitely do that. Don't you know, in case it rains and shit. Um, I think the cable was a dollar something a foot, so under twenty bucks, right? Um, it's like a dollar nineteen or something. Uh, so yeah, all told for about twenty five, thirty dollars, whatever it all is. Uh, well, if we lose power, I can, you know, in about five minutes, pop two wires out, replace some of those, press the button on the generator, uh, and. 
that's a push button start, right? That's another reason why I got that one. I'm like pulling shit. <laughs> um, and, and boom, we, we, we got the well pump running again. Uh, 